doesn't have to look this way. There's plenty of work to be done and plenty of people willing to work. And we're going to have a few speakers about some of the issues that brought us together. And our first speaker is Frank Hammer, former president of UAW Local 909, founder of the Auto Workers Caravan. He's talking about why we're, we're going to fight to shoot down this so-called free trade agreement. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Hey. 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 What a beautiful day. Yes. Uh, we have three issues that we're here for, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to address the first one. I know some of you have already signed the petition against uh, what's called the Chorus FTA, the free trade agreement with South Korea. I want to read you some quotes. You'll be interested as to where they came from. The quote is this, the proposed U.S.-South Korea free trade agreement would have disastrous consequences for the domestic automobile industry and the American economy. That's quote one. Quote two, the UAW strongly opposes this free trade deal. Quote number three, the course FTA would make the lopsided U.S. automotive trade deficit with South Korea even worse. This would translate into the loss of tens of thousands of additional auto jobs in the United States. All these quotes were talking about the free trade agreement that was negotiated in 2007 under George Bush. The UAW called for the Obama administration to fundamentally change this trade agreement. Well, if any of you have seen it, there is no fundamental change in this agreement. The only change that was made is they moved the clock back a little so that it won't happen tomorrow, it'll happen a week from tomorrow. And because they gave us an extra week, so to speak, because they gave us extra time, the UAW all of a sudden took back all these words that I just read you and came out in support of the agreement. Because the clock was extended by a few minutes, but the free trade agreement is basically the same. It is going to result in a disaster for us and a disaster for South Korean workers. And I'll give you the, the, two examples. The uh, Economic Institute said we're going to lose 159,000 jobs in the U.S. as a result of this agreement. That's how it's going to hurt us. The South Korean workers are going to lose because only 35% of the Korean imports are going to require Korean labor. The rest of the labor is going to come from China. They're going to lose too. And so will the Chinese, by the way. So this is one of the things that we're here to tell the media. This is one of the things we're here to tell the UAW. The rank and file continues to oppose NAFTA-style free trade agreements. Thank you very much. I'm going to hand it back over to Martha Gravatt. And thank you for being here.